back to the Red Bull Team Brawl Hearthstone presented by the brand new 2016 Honda Civic. Uh, I'm TJ. I'm standing by with the captains for the grand finals between Tempo Storm and Team Liquid. Now, uh, guys, we're going to redo the drafting phase, of course, uh, for the grand final. So right now, I'm going to come to you first. Uh, what did you learn from the first time around in your draft for the regular matches that you're going to take into uh, for the grand finals? I mean, I don't want to use specific card names, but um, there were like a couple of card choices that definitely weren't bad, but would have been slightly better as other cards um, that we learned from playing this, which was cool. You know, until you actually play the games, it's hard to learn things like that. But other than that, um, we're happy with our decks. We felt like we had three separate, like, winnable sets against all our opponents, and yeah, definitely felt felt good. So I feel like most of our decisions are on point. All right, and uh, Savits, I'm going to sort of ask you the same question. Did you guys learn anything? Are you guys going to change any of your strategies going into the finals? Well, not really. I mean, coming into the first draft, I was kind of hoping that we would find one either like Mech or Dragon Synergy deck to make the 2, 3, and 4 drops uh, be enough, have a reasonable drops. And we actually didn't in the draft, but it worked out pretty well anyway. So I don't think we're really going to change anything, but I'll just uh, try to build the three best decks that we can. Uh, so there was a lot of talk going around about Dog's Rogue deck. Mm -hmm. uh, it went 6-0, and oh, and it was actually insane. It looked a lot like a constructed deck. Um, do you think that your chances of drafting a deck like that are, are the same, or uh, did you rely on that deck a lot to get you to the finals in the first place? Well, like, even before like, Dog played even a single game, we were like really confident in the deck, and it looked really good. And not only was the deck good, we know that Dog is the one piloting it, who was, like, was really, really one of the best Rogue players in the world. So... It was pretty pretty good, but I think that also was uh, nice that uh, we, we were looking at Trump's deck that it maybe maybe was the weakest one that, that he was piloting, but he still ended up with a good score with that. So I don't think we're gonna get a rogue deck like that, but I think we might be able to like uh, build another strong lineup again. All right, and uh, Raynad, uh, we talked a little bit earlier about your um, the development of the tool and sort of your mindset coming in uh has the event sort of uh, met your expectations as far as uh, how the tool functions in this team environment uh, for the event today yeah there haven't been any hiccups with it at all it's been working really smoothly does exactly what we want looks good and uh of course hosted on the best website on the internet tempostorm.com fair enough fair enough and uh Savitz, uh, i want to get uh you've played in i think what two matches so far and uh, you've had a chance to play around with the tool a lot. And now in the matches, uh, has, have things changed? Has your mindset about the tool changed from practicing with it yesterday and coming in today to actually doing the drafts for real? Not really. I mean, some of the, like I mentioned, those uh, strategies, like trying to go for some kind of more synergy thing. I, I still like hope to do something like that, which we were unable to. I just hope that we can like, uh, actually get it together this time. All right, well, let's get to the predictions phase. So you, both of you guys earlier had a lot of confidence, predicted that you get to the Grand Finals, and you've made it there. So now that you're going up, Raynat, against Team Liquid, what do you think are, are your chances uh, to take it all? I mean, most of it's going to come down to the gameplay, but I anticipate that as long as there aren't any large numbers we have to add up to, we'll do fine. <laughs> all right, the 29 for sure turns out to not be... 29 after all. And Savits, of course, uh, how does Team Liquid and, of course, Trump feel about their chances going into the finals? Well, we feel really confident. I mean, both of our matches went quite well, and everybody's like, the Storm has such good decks. How did we, how did we beat them? But uh, I don't know. I, they didn't look that strong to me. I think we're going to win again. All right, well, there you have it. Both the captains have spoken, and I believe it's time to go to our grand final matchup. So, boys, shake hands. Good luck in your drafts, and let's send it over to the casting desk with George and Dan. Thank you very much, TJ, who will be joining us in just a second. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do the drafts once more. And this is to prove a couple things, Hype. First, uh, we, we, I mean, drafting is the big main attraction of this event. Uh, ultimately, you can talk to some of the players, even some of the fans. Uh, play, playing the decks and piloting them is nowhere near as interesting as the deck building portion, primarily because once the decks are set, you just follow the game plan that you put for it the first time. Uh, the second part of it, is, which is most important, is that you get to prove you could do it again. Uh, with more decisions comes more opportunities to make mistakes or to make right decisions. That's where it becomes really cool to me. Exactly. I would like to see if Liquid could put together some pretty cool decks again, like Dog's deck, which could be argued as a lucky draft, but maybe they could uh, do they it happen again. to like do it again. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, they have to do it very consistently. Uh, but there are multiple strategies. Once again, you can even out the strength of the decks, mm -hmm. or you can really all in. Because I mean, if you make yeah. two really good decks and try to win five games that way, you Especially never know. In the final round, exactly. Mm -hmm. You don't have to win. 
three, three five, or five, five games, rounds. Yeah. Right. I was going to say three games out of your series. Yeah, but exactly. Five games. So, uh, you know, taking a look at uh, how everything has gone so far, do you like a team strategy at all specifically? Because right now as we're opening packs, uh, and we're going to dive in a little bit closer in just a second here, it seems like both these teams have one thing in common, that they approach at least the process of deck building very similarly. Yeah, no, I... I was looking at the strategies and comparing the strategies today versus what we saw in the practice rounds. It looks like the strategies heavily depend on the cards they're given, and then they go from there. I told you uh, I thought Temple Storm's weakness was maybe their communication, because they don't know each other as well with Firebat, but, I mean, they could have only gotten better at that as the day went on. Oh, that's a really good observation. I mean, if that's their greatest weakness, then maybe that ends up being a situation where they can actually continue to even get better as the day goes on. Because a lot of teams, they're we're worried about fatigue and... Sometimes tensions kind of cl clash a little bit. You can see that at the end, Cloud9, like one person really wanted to win, one person was just kind of trolling, and that kind exactly. of disrupts the harmony a little bit. Yeah, and I mean, Tempest Storm already made their big fatigue mistake. Mm -hmm. They laughed it off. It didn't punish them, mm -hmm. so they can only go forward, as long as they don't sure. make that mistake again. You no, know, right away, I kind of want to listen to some of what these guys are saying, and, and, and Gal, we have Eloise on the team. In fact, let's go ahead and listen to Temple Storm, who are, have the momentum as they just defeated Archon to get to the Grand Finals. As few warrior cards as possible. Yeah. Ethereal Country Ooh, uh, is good. Mage oh, Priest yeah, Paladin looks nuts. Jeez. Uh -huh. Still looking good. <laughs> Holy. And Zoom is like super high the tier. The problem is, I think the like, three slow decks is pretty awkward. Well, because like, we yeah. might run out of big things. Look at Dobistri, yeah. I think. A keeper of Old Domain and Excavated. Double Excavated Evil. Is that card actually good? Excavated Evil is insane if we're going slow priest. Double man. Evil, double and Zoom. Yeah, yeah, double Keeper. Jeez. We're making Priest for sure. Okay. I'll see some more mage. Frost giant wow. could go in the priest. <laughs> Pit fighter is incredible. Pit fighter is the nuts. One of the best cards in the soul form. Double juggler is good. I need more twos. Yeah, still need more twos. We don't have. A, we're gonna get like snowball wow. on the board. Murdoch knight. I'm not above playing Argent Watchman. <laughs> <laughs> Double bone guard lieutenant's pretty sick in priest. Yeah. Double Murloc knight. Jeez. Oh my God. Paladin looks crazy. Paladin and priest <laughs> for sure. Maybe try Dreed. Seal Champions is better than Dreed. Blessing of Kings. Like, equally good. In Arena, at least. We have a lot of dragon tech things, but no dragons. Uh, well, wow. oh, double that. Cog Sword oh. for the Paladin. Now we have the dragons, and we have double Blackwing Corruptor, too. If we we need more dragons, though. It's only yeah. two dragons. Sure. All right, real quick, let's also look at what this Team Liquid's pulling and what they're getting the initial thoughts on. Oh, five. my God. Is that muster for Battle Pass? No, cards. we need it. Probably not playable. Really low. Yeah. Double Axe. Yeah. Do not the Warrior cards are coming in. Execute. That's Double Axe. We, we have, have so move. many legendaries. Holy crap. Yeah. They're not, like, amazing, but, like, no, Nexus Champion and yeah. Arch Thief. Oh, yeah. there we go. That's nice. Hope we get, like, mm. Consecration, too. Assassinate. We have Phantom Knights as well. It's not bad. Skill. Kings. Kings. Oh, there's definitely a Paladin. We're playing so Paladin. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 for sure. Do you guys have any idea on the other ones? Uh, not really. We'll have to build we them to yeah, see. Yeah, I think. It's hard to see from here. It's too fireball. <laughs> Polymorph. This. Okay. Animal companion. This Hunter, Hunter, Hunter might actually yeah. work. Have a oh, Okay, that's some great cards. Yeah, All right. Get to pick Do we just go? Yeah, let's yeah. go. It's. It's not. Say just start. go All immediately. Right. Okay, I think I've actually got a better better pool than the last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You don't think so? No, I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we all right, Living Roots. Yeah. Darnassus. Double Saber. Saber double. Wilds. The other one also. Oh, there's two. Same. Uh, Raptor. Raptors. Two Raptor. Wow. Bite. I think Druid is a decent one. Volcanic Lumber. Yeah, put in the two Fangs. It's possible. Okay. Uh, all right, next. Beast. Okay, so the timer has started. 30 minutes. We're joined by TJ, who Bear got trap. to dip in real quick yeah, for some words. What, what are you sensing when you're on the floor out there, TJ? I don't know. These guys, uh, it, it feels like the drafts overall are weaker than what we saw earlier from both teams. Um, not necessarily no booms, <laughs> no booms, and not, yeah. not necessarily an overall card quality, but in the consistency. They're getting a lot of a, a few good cards for each class instead of a lot of good cards for mm -hmm. three classes. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be tougher for them uh, to make the choices to make decks. Like they got some good removal from Mage, but they didn't really get any of the other good class cards, like the early removal. So mm. uh, it's going to be uh, interesting to see. Um, hyped. What's uh, what's going on over there with Temple Storm? What are they making right now? I think they're just going through all the classes. Same strategy. Last time they took fifth, the first 15 minutes before uh, thinning out 
to figure out which classes they're going to go with, and that's why they kind of shoot you away with the interviews because they like yeah. we're just barely getting into their mm -hmm. class building. Well, let's go ahead and focus a little bit more on Temple Storm right now to see uh, what they're building out. They were talking about Priest. They were talking about Paladin. Uh, right now, they're doing their due diligence of walking through everything, and this is the phase that they were talking about, walking through synergy. So let's listen a little bit closer and see what they got. That is insane. Double museum creator. Shadow Boxer is just good because it's another two drop. We're pretty low on those. I don't know, but I don't think double, Thought Steel's good. Double excavated evil, profit villain. Yeah, Thought Steel's not very good. Mind Control's good though. Like we should win in the late game anyway with double and tomb. Yeah. Uh, this is not worth so just skip going this, through. Yeah. yeah. Uh, skip. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. We don't have a flurry, so it's like. Uh -huh. not Next bad. one. Uh, Shaman. Maybe. Let's see, these are strong. Some good spells. A lot of good spells, actually. More, more good spells the than the last Double Thunder Bluff's game. pretty sweet. <laughs> that card is not bad. Yeah, that card's disgusting. Um, Shaman's a maybe right now, but yeah. I don't, uh, none of those cards are good. Yeah. Totem card's actually fine. It's just put it strictly first. worse than Frostwolf Warlord. We can well, put it's it four first. mana. Mm, yeah, it's four mana. Yeah. Mm. Well, double Power. Imp Gang Boss, Wrath Guard. Mm. I don't know about Succubus. <laughs> uh, yeah. Demon Wrath is probably in there. Any AoEs is good. Yeah. Do you like Demon Fire? Shadow Bolt's in there. Uh, Demon double Fire is Double like Floating Watcher is pretty sweet. Demon Fire is not bad. Yeah, maybe Soul Fire. I actually don't mind Soul Fire. Yeah, it's Soul Fire very good. Uh, I put like in the Soul Demon fire. fire, though. Demon Fire is good. No warrior, probably. All right, let me just see okay. this quick. No. 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 <laughs> no. So uh, Demon Fire is pretty good, especially with like double floating watcher void well, colors. Let's let's figure out our third deck real quick, yeah? Before yeah, we yeah. Okay. So oops. Shaman we got twelve right, cards. Uh, that well, are looks like Team Liquid's finished up. We're gonna quickly peek with Liquid one more time before we start talking a little bit more about what are the deck synergies they're building out here. We have uh, equality. And then Yeah. Okay. So maybe like let's uh, check the max. I don't know if, I don't think there sure. are that many. Oh, Wait, Cogmasters, Strider, Mech Warper. It's enough to run one tank. We have double Cog. Yeah. One Mech. We need both. Uh, sorry, I know it's on Mech Warper. Uh, Spider tank, Shredder. Where would we run this? In the Hunter. <laughs> well, we need. Okay, at this point, let's look through decks. So let's get out. Let's X Shaman or X Warrior. Yeah, X Warrior. Yeah, we don't, don't want to play Warrior. No, X Shaman. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, let's see, check. <laughs> mage was like, yeah, X yeah, mage, mage, mage yeah. for sure. I don't think. Tomb lights. I know. So Freeze let's looks see. bad. It looks really Yeah, bad. get rid of that. So it's gonna be rogue or warlock. How many activate? Can you go to battle card? We can play how many activators trade. we have for okay. eggs and stuff. We have two lance or one two lance carriers. Um. BGH is good. Um, yeah. Sun Fury is kind of an activator. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Sun Fury works. Shattered. Uh, Shattered. I think we had. Def oh, we don't have a defender. Okay. No, we don't have the egg suite, I think. Yeah, I mean, we have. Uh, with Warlock, we have one PO and a Shadow Flame and a Demon Wrath, but that's probably not enough. Really? This is yeah, all the beasts no. we got. Very it's so bad. We have to take out the Druid of Things. There's no way, right? No way. Yeah, it's, it's not happening. I mean, these are. I mean, beasts, we could we could I do it and put in the double I mean, Tomb Spider. Those are beasts. Those are beasts. Yeah, we can actually do it, and we can do yeah. Tomb Spider and Scarab. Yeah. You think? Beast yeah. Druid looks reasonable. And you should put in Fossilized Double Sword for late game as well. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, put in the. Yeah. So uh, you should put it in the. Yeah. Okay. I guess I can go from here. All right. That actually looks reasonable, and we can curve it out. There is some interesting debate here. I know Hyped was not really looking <laughs> like he enjoyed that fossilized Devil Sword with Beast Druid. Oh, no, no, it wasn't the fossilized Devil Sword. It was the considering Scarab as a Wind Waker activator. Oh, Wind Waker okay, is like okay. 3 HP, 1 4. Is that really. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're optimistic. I think if your curve is early on, like. He heavy enough where you can start impacting the board immediately, you can, but it's like he said, we need this for late game, but it looked like Druid was okay. It had some early game options, you know, Power of the Wild. Oh, yeah, it the, had, did it have the Darnassus Aspirant? Uh, I didn't, I wasn't seeing it. I, I believe did. so. I believe it did. Gotcha. So, uh, you know, taking a look at it, what do you really like in the combinations here that you see, TJ? Like, what are some of the classes that you think uh, are, are really sticking out to you? Well, Temple Storm's Paladin uh, looks really strong right now. I believe they drafted double muster for battle. Uh, I think Shield of Miniboss in there as well. So Ooh. that's a deck to look out for. Um, 
Liquid, the, it, it just feels like their decks are struggling a little bit. They're struggling to find exactly what they want. You see, they immediately narrowed it down to four just because there was a couple decks where they would not even be able to even make a full deck almost mm -hmm. without putting in terrible neutrals which would take away potential neutrals from the other deck so you saw them delete that mage deck which just had five class cards i think so it's looking rough for them they don't have that rogue deck from dog to fall back on uh so it's going to be interesting to see paladin looks like powerhouse for both both teams, though. Okay. Well, you know, one thing that was interesting observation from Dog during the pack opening process, where he says, we have a lot of legendaries. None of them are, like, astoundingly good. You look at Dr. Boom, Kael Tassad, Tyrion Forge Ring. Those are, like, the, the game-winning legendaries. But if you have some okay-ish ones, how is that going to flesh out the rest of your deck? We're taking a look at Temple Storm here. They're the ones who seem like they've locked in the classes they want. They're going to go with Mage, Paladin, and Priest. And they were mentioning that they, they don't really want too slow of decks as a whole lineup, but they don't mind taking it to late game. I do you think about the double flame strike drafted. Yes. yes. Is that good? It, it is, yes. It's very good. And the double muster for battle, double shielded mini bot. Is oh, that man. good? Yeah, this is actually great. It's like you were saying. Um, they have their priest deck, which is their late game deck, and then they could use neutrals. They could spread the neutrals between the mage and the paladin. Mm -hmm. So in this case, they, for the neutrals, they gave the mage the mechs, and then they just gave the paladin everything else. Yep. Is it? I mean, it's it's very appealing to look at their cards and say, if they don't win, this is embarrassing, right? Because it's one of those things where like they have a lot of overwhelmingly strong cards, but it's one of those cases too where. A lot of the times we think a deck will perform badly or very well, and it's the opposite effect. Archon thought Amaz had the weakest deck out of the three by far, and yet he had the best result. And Azalei, who had a very had a much better deck on paper, ended up going zero six. Exactly. Uh, in, in the same capacity for Strife Crow, right? He they thought he was the best deck. He went zero six. So a lot of times evaluations on the surface might look very good, but. You know, we never know if that ends up being the case. Yeah. Sometimes you see that opening hand, and it's just like, how am I going to recover? Yeah. And actually, we saw that from Cloud9. They're like, are, how can their decks compete with our opening hands? And then uh, we saw a flame juggler, or uh, a flame imp come out, and Starko was like, well, how do I beat that? <laughs> yeah, you can't beat the turn one plays if and you then, have nothing uh, to do. And then Tunnel Trog came out, and then Halfway's like, mm -hmm. how do I beat that? Yeah, you can tunnel on what cards are the yeah, are the yeah. best, like what cards are the highest quality, but in the end, a lot of it comes down to curve. I actually think Silver That's right. Yeah, I very think strong. this goes very good in the in yeah, yeah. Mage. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be listening in here Do on Liquid in just a second, right? but it looks like they're starting uh, to narrow like down on decks, and I kind of want to hear what exactly makes, makes it refined. So uh, yeah, yeah, that card's insane in this deck. Yeah. Okay, so then what do we take out? I guess we take out Boulder Fist or... Yeah. Um, I like Boulder Fist taking out. Yeah. Deck or in Paladin. Yes. Paladin yep. probably makes the most sense. I think I'm going to Paladin because we have a quality in like yeah. Let's see, Grand Cruise Cruise Vader in one of the decks. Probably the third deck. Yeah, we do want to play it for sure. Arch Thief, yeah. yeah. So this the goes Kraken uh, is a good Paladin too. Yes. We could put Kraken in if we want. Yeah, put the Kraken in for now. We'll probably shuffle it. We don't want to play two of the nine. Yeah, we'll we'll shuffle it. Yep. Left. Uh, Toshly, toss it in. We also want the Sunwalkers in a deck. Yeah, just toss, toss in all the cards. <laughs> we'll, we'll obviously shuffle them. Yeah. And put in the Grand Crusader. We're, we're shuffling yeah. that, though. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm, Valdir Raiders. Are good. Yeah, yeah Valdir is pretty good. Yeah. Quality, but which deck would support the quality the best? All right, let's see. So, how does Hunter look? Let's look at it. We have, we have double let's, let's focus on our third deck now. We have a double sign. I think for Hunter this makes the most sense. But I just, I, I think it's weak. I don't want to play Hunter. Like, I, I don't know. Like no, we, it's so bad. The Hunter. Tundra, Tundra I, I do agree. Good. Unleash is a weak card by itself. We don't have a synergy for the common line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's screw the Hunter. Yeah, I think Hunter is okay. our worst one out of the five. We need to figure out if we want to play it. Warlock them. can work. I think we could try it with the X and stuff. Let's check uh, Rogue again. Early game. Can we try the... Hmm. So, I think back we should go for the zoo, honestly. Barber, Valiant, Perdition's Blade, Fan, you probably don't want to run to. Raptor, that has an egg. Let's just go for the zoo. Pillager, Blade, Assassin. Don't delete it yet. Okay. I okay. think zoo is our best, actually. I think zoo is so. Good. I think so, too. So, two of these. Cancer, uh, Lance Carrier. Yes. Yeah. Put a two. Because we like, yeah. Mm, let's see the one drops. What's that? Okay, let's see. Uh, if we missed anything. Wrath Guard, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. If we're playing a zoo. Uh, blood imps? <laughs> <not too bad. laughs> no. No, no, no. Not doing it. Uh, let's see, so we're just Can putting we play in under cards here. No, for I don't know. Uh, zombie Chow might get shuffled into here. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, Zombie Chow makes most sense. Okay. Uh, next page. It's already somewhere else. Wait, so. can, you, uh, can you search for Murloc real fast? It's probably not going to happen. Just, yeah, yeah. Just search. we don't have any buffs. 
Nah, never mind. Nah, we can't do that. So, not looking too hot. We can go mechs Jackson. on this one, yeah. maybe? Um, we could. I don't think we I had think any mechs. Solemn and Keeper, but. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just having a one drop's nice. All right. Uh, jugglers are nuts. Yeah, jugglers, mm -hmm. just throw them in here. We need twos. The priest needs twos more than anything. All, the both priest. of them need twos. This deck has no twos neither. So, yeah. egg could be good here. Do we, we have Avenge sometimes. We have Seal, Blessings. That's two, three, four. We should yeah, make yeah, that yeah. work. We should yeah, make should it work here. If we put Dragon in, we won't have other spaces. Yeah, I, I we think won't put Dragon in, right? I don't yeah. I think we should play at least mm -hmm. the six-drop Dragon, right? There's like a, there's a one of I think he's really weak. Okay. I mean, but he, Dragon Consort synergy, just having three Dragons seems pretty good. Do we need to play Dragon Consort, though? It's a five-mana five-five. Like, why not? Do you want this? This card yep. is good in some deck. Yeah. yeah, that's good with the Paladin synergy here. Oh. Uh, maybe one. I think it's okay. We actually have. Okay, if we, okay, if we're playing two of these, then we want the dragon. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, let's do that. That's okay. Insane. Yeah. Yeah, put the Dark Iron so. Dwarf. Dark Iron Dwarf, and then the the volcanic drakes. Uh, two vouchers. Yeah. Was, is getting the cost reduction even that good though? Like, what's what are, what's the plan late game here? I guess we don't really need one. We have Murloc Knights. Yeah. Murloc Knights, Volcanic Drakes, that's pretty solid late game. Is Hammer really better than... We, okay, we've got good, expensive idiots, and I would like to put them in things. <laughs> this, this, this... Wumbling Grunts is terrible. Rumbling Grunts is good. It's really good in Arena. Okay, I don't I don't agree, but... I might be wrong about that. I, I know in Arena it's a I think tier, Boulder Fist is better. <laughs> Boulder Fist is better, yeah, yeah but yeah. Boulder Fist is like the best six drop. Okay. I, I, I like this in Mage. Spectral Knight does make sense in Mage. Yeah, I think this is better, though. Okay. Uh, in Mage. This is 6-6 six, six stats. It's too good. Okay. Uh, well, Mage should not lose the boards. Then, uh, yeah, if you have... We should probably play this card, yeah? Yeah, in mm. this deck, yeah, that card's insane. I like what we're doing Do here. Do we need to even Guardian of Kings? That card seems like overpaying seems for slow, stats. yeah, yeah. I'd rather get a 5-9. I didn't know we were going this aggressive with the Paladin, but we have the tools to do it. I like it. Ah, it should be fast. Yeah, it's Give him the dick. fast as hell. Do we need the Regent? No, Probably. that region can go. It's got too much synergy with this shit, though. We do not think we need it. Mm, but at the same time, you have to invest a hero power, and Imp Master just does its job better. It's you know, a, we it's have a, a lot of threes. It's a five it's drop. It's a five, okay, sure. Then I guess Hammer's one of the weaker cards yeah. in this deck. All right, Hammer, so it's a region we can put in something else, I guess. Well, we could, keep, we could get rid of Finley, then, because, like... Are we really going to play that? I Anything don't really else, like though? Finley. Yeah. <laughs> one mana, one three is really strong. That's it what Tunnel yeah, Shroud was. I, I don't want other hero power. I think... Okay. Paladin Hero Power is very good. Yeah, Paladin Hero Power makes sense with our deck now. Okay. That's going to be really weird to just not play Finley at all, but I guess. <laughs> well, we could put it in the Mage deck, try and get Hunter Hero Power. But it's... Oh, the Mage Hero no. Power is just, like, yeah. on average better, <laughs> yeah. I guess. We already have one drops. So what are we going to cut? It's like all these questions. If Finley's in any deck, it's then this let's one. Let's build the Priest first. We need one more card. Well, I captured Jormungar. I don't think we need to with Double Murloc Knight. Belcher. Belcher seems pretty solid. Belcher, Boulder Fist, I think would be better. Oh, yeah, we need to play all four yeah, Belchers. Yeah, we need to yeah. play Belcher. <laughs> but it's like, we made all of our decks so aggressive. <laughs> I like how aggressive they are, though. I think that's the way to play them. But we don't have enough two drops in this Paladin deck, if you look at the curve. is the, uh, the only issue I see. We only have six two drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's still a really good number. Do we really need to play Nerubian Egg? How many actual enablers do we, we have? We have double old men. We have a ton I like of activators it. we need. It, yeah. It's good. It's good, it's good. Mm -hmm. And kings. I think Hammer Wrath should go to be a two drop. And I would like it a little better. Yeah, just one more two drop. Seven and eight in that range makes me happier. All right, let's play like a Puddle Stomper. Yeah, Mad Bomber. Mad Bomber. Is it is it anti synergy mm. with Muster a little bit. Yeah, that's going to be one of these things. Do we have Pirates? No. Uh, I guess that guy's Trog. pretty good. Yeah, Trog's mm -hmm. pretty good. All right, let's priest. We we need to play four Belchers. Yes, so we yes. need to fit one yeah. of our Belchers. We'll try and figure it out. Okay, looks like right. Storm is wrapping up two, two of their decks here. here. And uh, we're going to look to see how they're going to do the third in just a second. But it's been a while since we checked in with Team Liquid. How, how are you liking the, the look of Temple Storm's decks hyped? They're all looking really good, and like uh, Firebat was mentioning, they all have a strategy, whether that's be aggressive or the Priest deck, maybe not be as aggressive, but they all look really strong in what mm -hmm. they're trying to do. Well, it's good, so that way if one deck happens to be good against all aggressive decks, then yeah. you don't just lose three games because you run into that. Having diversity in your lineup is actually very powerful. And you know you're in a good spot when mm -hmm. you're like, oh wait, we have four Belchers, where do we put them? 
It's it's definitely safer. I mean, the flip side of that is also true. If a deck is very weak to aggro, you happen to kill it. But I don't think these decks are going to be looking to be weak against aggro. I mean, they're very aware of the, the way the curve's going. There's so many strong two ups in Tempo Storm's Paladin deck. And this one that we see on the screen right here is a completely different story going over on Team Liquid's side. It's a Reno, like Reno lock. lock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a Reno lock with, without the Reno. So um, it, it just sort of looks like a mishmash of let's just try and shove everything we can in here. They have 32 cards, yeah. so they have to trim a little bit. But I mean, there's some decent synergies. It's just what's it trying to do? If the Avengers played Hearthstone, or not the Avengers, excuse me. The, the, oh my god, I messed it up. It's the, uh, it's, it's, the movie, it's the movie with a bunch of action stars who are no longer relevant. What's the one I'm thinking about? The replaceables? The uh, expendables. Expendables. Okay, there it's you go. some adjective that's too high for me to spell. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, At this point, it's just definitely looking like a mishmash of stuff like you're saying. I kind of want to listen more what Team Liquid wants to say as I go read a dictionary to improve my dialogues. So we're missing fours here, right? We want a Sentient four. Two, 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 spiders. Two, two, it's a little bit like weak. Can we add the... What was it? Uh, the... The four, five, six. That's the uh, dragon. Hungry dragon. Hungry dragon. We put it in the warlock deck. But we, we had like, I think we had three. <sighs> but it destroyed the uh, decks again. It destroyed the decks again. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh my well, god. I guess we're building them again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. Okay. That's actually really annoying. Because we had yeah, it like all together. Yeah, we had like all of them built. Mm -hmm. well, let's just do this quick. Okay, then the eight mana beasts. Oh my god. This is so annoying because we have to go through the old dip. Ultra minions. Do we want to play one of these Jormungas? Our, uh, our thing reset again. Okay. Will we get more time or? Yeah, and this one we actually do need yeah, more Yeah, we, we, need we probably do. Yeah. Okay, this is actually going to take a while. Yeah. Do we have Pit Fighter in the deck before? I, we did. Yeah. Okay, so it uh, looks like we had a little bit of problem with Team Liquid. Okay, well, well, we gotta hurry. Okay, some, okay. Uh, some problem with the, uh, the tool somehow resetting it, but it looks like they had the pool of cards was the important thing. I mean, sometimes during the testing, based off everything else, there was uh, a lot of cards being pushed through the system, uh, which is definitely something that we want to test, but thankfully they, they kept the card pool. Yeah, and the card pool is important thing. We're gonna give them a little bit of extra yep. time to build We're not their gonna deck. not gonna punish them. Not gonna punish them, no, it's not their fault. Yep. Your fault for a break. But, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. no, they a little bit frustrated, but um, more time is going to be all they need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess in the meantime, we can just go ahead and check back in with Tempo Storm. See how they're rounding out that third deck. Hopefully the same didn't happen to them too. Otherwise, we'd give them more time. So last la last time we were checking in, they had the Priest deck that was about to be wrapped up. Uh, let's see how it's progressing so far. Ah. Uh, no, no card is using this. Yeah, Jude Scope's really bad. But we do need card drawing first, right? Do we? Mm. How many twos does this have? Yeah, this one has a pretty lacking number of twos. I'm not sold on the Volcanic Drake consort plan, um, but <laughs> yeah. Take out a Volcanic Drake and put in a two then. I would rather put a Sludge Belcher. Right, sure. Belcher. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I like Sludge Belcher a lot. I mean, you should use all four of them. It's silly not to. Uh, on the other hand, we could get our Sludge Belcher here over like a Knight or something. Or like Nullifier. Maybe we just like, let's just go shy on fours, just play higher quality cards. I don't know. Well, we should have like a one into two every time, right? Yes. One into two, and then we have one, two, three, four threes. So one into two into three almost every time. Yeah. And honestly, like three to four fours is enough to have one, a four drop on four almost every time. Like I, I don't like the Drake, but I do like the Drake. It's hard to, it's hard to really decide. Wait, what do we put in place of the Drake? Uh, added the Belcher. Yeah, I think Belcher's better. Belcher is better. I agree. Mm. I agree, Belcher. We can't really. Yeah, fit I'm Belcher. thinking about replacing one of this to the Fifi. Yeah, I mean, make, if, make if, one if we cut volcanic, then that gets worse. We already have threes in here. Oh uh, yeah, it's not sure. a very strong. I, I, I can see cutting one of those. Yeah. But then what do we replace it with? We have plenty of fours because we have the double true silver kings, dark iron dwarf, double old man. We have plenty of fives. We don't we need have more. Plenty of fives, and then double murloc knights are sixes, and so I guess it'd just be a seven. So yeah, Jorgma or yeah. Jorgma or all twos are always good. We only have seven twos, so you can go up to eight to nine twos. 
but do we have any good twos? <laughs> yeah, we got we got good ones left. Echoing Matt. ooze. Echoing ooze. Matt, Matt Bomber yeah. needs to be in priest. Yeah, Alexis. Matt Bomber should be in priest. Echoing ooze should be in this deck though. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. It's actually Dub double avenge. <laughs> Seal of <laughs> champions. How is this good with avenge? It's just more crap on the board oh, to proc avenge. So, yeah, yeah. And we have the volcanic drake, and we have the solemn vigil, but dark we're... iron dwarf, double old man kings. Uh, we I should like almost it. always be able to find a uh, ooze old man or ooze kings sort of play. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And then I guess priest. Yeah, priest should have the bombers. I would, in it for I would sure. really like. <laughs> now I want the second volcanic drake back. <laughs> there's no way to. There's no way to do it, right? All right. Don't, yeah. Don't worry uh, about the volcanic uh, drake. The late game should be fine. All right. So the priest bombers deck. should be in here yes. over river crocolisk or whatever. Yeah. The the just mm -hmm. battle cry is more valuable than the extra health. And huge toad. This is better. Um, I like the I like the extra health here. The the huge toad death rattle might be better than the extra health on those. We don't play any of this. No, uh, no room. Jeweled Scarab could potentially work in Priest, I guess. Card generation. <laughs> Excavated. Maybe, maybe, maybe Mage. Hmm. Maybe. Not Mage. Mage is, mage is too tempo oriented. This is yeah. the, this is supposed to be our control deck. Spellbreaker feels so reactive to me. I don't like this card, but. Well, what do you want to put instead of it? Just something more stats. Like, I would play, like, a huge Toad, just so I never hero power complain on turn two. <laughs> we have the most two drops in well, this. I don't know that's going to happen, but it looks like we're going to wrap up here on Tempo Storm side and check in with Liquid for the final minutes. Remember, we're going to give them a little bit of extra time based off of what happened earlier, but looks like they've recovered pretty the nicely. Stats. They're almost done building some decks. Yeah, I agree. most of the time because we were running a Beast Druid, correct? This is also a Beast. Oh. So it's like Curve South better. 5, 9, 8, 8. Possibly both, but... I, I would run it like much. this. I think that the Devil Sword is better. It's 5-9 it versus 8-8. Eight, eight. How creative is it if you put in the second one? It's pretty creative. I don't think we should put in both, but I think Fossilize is better. But that's just my opinion. What do you think, Chop? Who wants to play uh, this? Does anyone have any inclination I, on I Dexplay? I actually don't I'm, care. I'm okay I don't with care. any of the yeah, three. I don't care. I, I can, can play the Druids. It's, it's fine. Like, for example. Well, we should assign right now. Trump, do you want to play Zoo, Paladin, yeah. or, or Druid? I play a lot of Zoo. I don't you know if you guys zoo. play okay. a lot. You can play Zoo. Okay. So now we now we can kind of like decide on our All own right. decks, I suppose, what we yeah. prefer. That's uh, a smart idea. I'm fine with either. What okay. do you want, Savish? I'm gonna. I can take the Druid. That's fine. Okay. I'll, I'll just so like, you can make your deck. Yeah, I'll just like think about right now to play in this. Mm, is there anything at six? I feel like on the um, on the reset we might have lost some good cards. So let's take a look at all of them. Yeah, again. I agree. Yeah, we should. Let's just take the mana filters out. Uh, no good Nothing. cards here. Nothing. Nothing. The zoo deck is actually pretty good. Uh, I like it. Nothing. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nope. Refreshments worth considering in Druid. It's worth considering. Yeah. If, if we, we don't have, have fours, fours and we stuff. Have four fours. I, I think I, that's good enough. I think it's good enough. Put in a vendor I, I for now. I actually don't want. I don't want to play that. Okay. Actually. Um. There's not enough bows. Nope. Looks like no, confirmed Savitz is on the Druid. Uh, we're How many fives here? was it? Yeah, it's enough fives. So we need one more card. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We might be shuffling a card from one of our decks into yours. So. Uh, I want to just look at the mana here real quick. Okay. I think it's fine though. You can look at the mana curve. Yeah, there yeah, but I want to see what yeah. it is because like spells don't count the same. Yeah. So they, there's like a little right. bit of lack of three. You might want a six, six like a Sunwalker. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, can I take one from the Paladin? Paladin has yeah, to be I don't want to do that. I don't really like Sunwalkers. Should take one of these out? Sunwalkers, aren't they? Yes. I think the Druid is done now. Okay. If we have extra time, we can come back to it. Well, like. Okay. So there were like no extra good cards. What, we need to take off like the mana. Cockmaster. Did we have one Double more one drop? We had some one drop. Other. Did not we? Oh. Chow is in Paladin. It's in Paladin now. Does the Paladin need more? Like Paladin has mini bots. Maybe it can handle. Yeah, Zoo likes to start off with a one for I sure. Think, I think it's pretty yeah, important. I think we should do it. Yep. The Zoo needs it more. Let's Close. see. The curve. We have a few more twos. I, um, I would have got the micro machine. What do you guys think? I don't think it's that good. Yeah, I agree. It's certainly yeah, not take great. It out. We Maybe need all of those. Yes. I would probably keep. You the can cut the north. I think Demon Wrath is bad in this deck. Cut I think so as well. Okay. You're getting so you're playing port early. Yeah. Okay. So the reason we have the Aedis in this deck is because of the Toshli. Oh man, I really hope you throw yeah. the Void Terror with it the Aerobian yeah. So it also works with PO. That's true. Yeah. I think it actually looks pretty good this deck yeah. right now. Yeah. I think this looks really good. 
The arcane nullifier yeah, is the only sketchy one. It, it's pretty, it's sketchy, sketchy, but um, but the alternatives are worse. Uh, refreshment vendor is worth considering. Eh, it's a, it's a mess. I actually <laughs> think that I want to cut one of these tomb spiders because the deck is so greedy already. Like the extra beast isn't helpful. Yeah, I agree. I so definitely agree. One you, tomb. You Wait, I disagree. I think we have the, the tomb spider them. is so good. You like you have so much beast energy. You have you, the two druid of the thing. There's no way he's gonna need the the beast. So of, like, greedy. He has so much stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. but we're running okay. out of time. Do, do, you want to, do you want the refreshment vendor instead of, nullifier? instead of nullifier? I'll probably take the refreshment vendor and paladin if we don't have. Uh, okay. I like nullifier more. Okay, so I think this list okay. is done then. Okay. So now we look at the paladin. Just going by the curve or anything. I think uh, one of the warlord or the raider should go. Although the raider is like a seven. It's like anyway. You, you have. So oh, do we have, have no machines by fives. the way? Uh, what? No, no we don't. Mishes. No. No. Tell the dragons are already. Uh, the solemn vigils might not be good. Cut I one. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I would one. definitely cut one. Well, we have Imp Master, but that's good. We need to one find one find one card from here. Mm. We need like a one drop or something. Yeah, it would help. Let's see if one, two, three, the... four, five. Yeah, it would. Okay, so looks like Team Liquid wrapping up their final touches on the deck. They didn't yeah, really need that extra time, time, which is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, taking a look at the the assignments, it just seems like they want to do it like Sabine's on the Druid. Uh, dog on the Paladin, Trump on the Warlock. Uh, how will that go up against what Tempo Storm has? It's the final few minutes, so let's go ahead and listen in before we start talking a little bit more about what we think after the drafts. Yeah, Wobbling Runs is really strong, but that's like the only... <laughs> I hate that card. I think it's terrible. <laughs> uh, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> this deck has too many sixes for it anyway. Yeah, this deck has a pretty high curve. We got the twos unlocked, so we should be able to keep up there. And then we slowly lose the board, and then we use Excavated Evil to catch it back up, and then we drop big crap. Yeah, I'm I'm really worried about turn three, but you know, Acolyte's yeah. not really a three drop. We don't really have options in that regard. We do have a lot of spells. Sure, if you want to play the three two, I mean, at worst, it cycles one of our bad cards and gets us closer to a spell. You know. And this is a great three drop. Yeah. I is don't really like BGH actually. I think <laughs> I think I think that's BGH is a three drop. We just I, play it. Yeah, okay. it's in it's Kay. in our weakest deck, <laughs> and if it hits, we can win with our weak deck, and that's uh, what we want. Okay. Um, I like I like having fours. I mean, basically, what it comes down to is we would have to cut a late game card to support that. I think Double Museum Curator allows us to do that. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I understand. Yeah. I'm not. I'm the not value generator is good there. Yeah. I'm not sold on Jouster in this deck, but like I actually think the seven drop might be better than Jouster. Yeah, the seven drop is better than Jouster. Unless we're like versing an aggro deck. Right. Well, yeah. We unless we're lucky, but we're never gonna like win Joust mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. yeah, you sure. It's Team Tempo yeah. Storm. It comes yeah. with the territory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is yeah. there any three drops still? Because the three drop would be good over the. Jorma. We got Worgen, which is strong in every deck, even a deck like this, because it, it just limits what they can play if you get it to work. If you count this as a 3-drop, and if you count this as a 3-drop, those are the other options. All right. I like I like Worgen over... I like Worgen over Jorma. I like Curve. I like Worgen over Frost Giant, actually. Frost Giant's slow. I think Frost Giant's too good not to play. All right, then over Jorma. I want to get that. We only have one. There are two three drops. I want to see that number be three or four. I want to have this like Do any chance that we this? get a one two three curve. Yeah, we that. can heal it back up, so that's uh -huh. a thing. But we don't have any buffs, so I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not sure which one's better. Mm. All right, we have thirty and everything. Yeah. Our decks are very good. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> seem way above average. They seem better yeah. than last time. Yeah. Okay, right. so that is the end of the period where they can build decks. Any edits are strictly legal at this point, so make sure uh, they're not going to the admins going back and verifying all their decks. And with that, uh, we have an opportunity to see all the classes. So, TJ, you've been diligently taking notes. Uh, what are some of the observations that really stick out to you? Uh, once again, Temple Storm's Paladin is incredible. They have, you know, all the commons and the rares that you'd like to see in Paladin, like Monster for Battle Shield and Minibot. On top of that, they have the double keeper, along with things that can be really good with keeper, like the Rubian eggs, a blessing of kings, um, double true silver champion, which is something that we haven't really seen. It's something that uh, Hafu struggled with getting through the early game. So uh, this is pretty nuts. One thing we didn't see is who will be on which deck for Temple Storm. I don't think we we heard that yet. It's true. But, uh, I'm sure they'll decide that, and and we'll figure it out. Uh, Liquid actually decided all their classes. So uh, Trump's gonna be playing the zoo. What do you think of their zoo deck? I the Zoo deck was pretty good, but I think uh, one thing that was missing that was in Raynad's deck was the double 
Imp Gang boss, which is just like maybe the best three drop in the game. You saw mm -hmm. like Tempo there with their three drops. They're like, ah, which three drops? Acolyte, Worgen. And it, that's like how all my arenas go. It's like, I want a three <laughs> drop, but I just can't yeah. find it. Because like, there's so many bad ones compared to good ones. And the Imp Gang is like the best one. But as you can see, Trump mm -hmm. didn't get the Imp Gang. He got the Implosion, but the lack of three might hurt him. But he got a lot of ones and he can tap. So hopefully that works out. It's definitely very curious because three drops were a, a very a big weak spot for a lot of decks uh, about a year and a half ago in Hearthstone. And then all of a sudden, the flood of new ex expansions and content really bolstered that. But a lot of it were funneled directly into th um, to, to class cards. And so specifically, you got a couple of good threes. Like, say, for example, uh, Liquid got like a Valen, uh, not a Valence, or uh, say they got a Valence Chosen and a Dark Cultist, but they still don't have enough to play Priest. All of a sudden, that's like a couple threes that they were good, but they can't play in other classes. So that's one of those interesting dynamics of what Sealed introduces. You have to kind of mix with the good with the bad. Sometimes you get a couple of really good cards. Does that mean you build around that entire set of just a few good cards? Or are you willing to take a more middle-of-the-road approach so that way, on average, you have less swingy games? Yep, very true. And, you know, one of the things that I'm looking at the most here is, is the curve for these decks. So uh, Temple Storm, their Powder deck was great, but in their Mage and Priest deck, they... Uh, they sort of struggled to find that early game. They only had a very limited amount of those early drops, the mm -hmm. early neutrals to put in. And they have board clears. They have a lot of AOE. And we heard Fireback talking, you know, we're just going to try and get through the early game, <laughs> allow our two drops in our museum curious to get the early, early game and drop those big guys later. Um, and we'll have to see how that's going to play out. And Liquid's Druid has virtually no removal which is scary. Yeah, it's very interesting to see how uh, all of these cards will be fitting into it. Um, you know, specifically, I don't think Druid's actually performed very well in this tournament so far. We've seen Amnesiac play it. Uh, we also saw a couple, a member from Cloud9 play it. It wasn't very, it, it, it wasn't ha having success. Why do you think that is, Hyped? I'm not sure. It seemed like it was losing tempo a lot, but this deck is more like a classic Arena Druid deck. They have one Wild Growth and a bunch of big creatures. So it could work out. Also, it's not Druid, it's Bruid. It's Beast Druid with the double Druid of the Fang. Uh, seven seven okay. it's pretty good have you tried experimenting with that deck in the past uh, on your own time i've played brew it on ladder it's gone pretty poorly it's usually like uh zero and five something like that before i delete uh, it it's like, so like, like most beast decks i guess yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, it's, it's interesting to me because I know a lot of people, one of the criticisms against Druid as a class is that without a force of nature, Savage Roar, the class struggles immensely you know, a lot of times in the field. And I think it, it can showcase a little bit. There's sure some great value cards. I mean, if you get, let, let's say you land the Beast Energy, it, it's really good. But say about individual value cards, um, sometimes you can just get completely out tempo, like you said. And I think it's really powerful statement when Druid doesn't do very well, but yet people think it always has a good opportunity to when you draft decks. Yeah, I think a big weakness of that deck is their only removal is Bite. Mm -hmm. So they, they have, and Living Roots, sorry, Living Roots, got to get props on Living Roots. So um, I mentioned they do have the Wild Growth. They have to rely on getting big stuff out quick because if they don't, then it's going to be tough for them to come back in a situation where uh, they're behind. They do have Mind Control tech, which can swing matches, but uh, it's only a one-up in their deck, and it's not 100% reliable. It's just sort of like an emergency. We need to steal something important right now. So sure. The other two decks, though, um, look pretty solid. I mean, the Paladin deck doesn't have any quality. It's not like Tempo Storm's Paladin standard, but it, it still should do well. Okay, let's go ahead and check and we'll see how the teams are doing. They're in the middle of building the decks, uh, getting ready for the Grand Finals. Make sure to tell your friends. Make sure to tweet at Red Bull Esports, at Honda. Thank them so much for the event. Once again, it's brought to you by the all-new 2016 Honda Civic. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun, and we're about to get to the final points to see who is going to take home $3,000 as well as customized gaming chairs and uh, a nice little trophy that kind of has a memorabilia. And they might actually take it home this time because most events, you travel across the seas. How are you going to lug a big trophy back home? But a lot of these people, they're... They're from right here. I do know some players that have won the World Championship for Hearthstone that have may or may not have broken their trophy the night they got it and had to have a new one shipped <gasps> to them. I'm not going to name any names. Well, but, uh, there's only three, and I'm going to guess it's Artosis. Okay. okay. It's a solid guess. <laughs> it's going to put it out there. Of course, uh, uh, there is quite the joke. Some people might think, oh, I didn't know Artosis won. I was like, well, was in 2014, they had a small Hearthstone beta invitational, and Artosis won out of a... Uh, a huge pool of eight streamers. So uh, taking a look at the classes and the, the lineups here, you know, what, what, what we're going to do is we're going to re-rack and make them play once again uh, a, a round robin best of one. So nothing changes for the grand finals. There's no, like, extended game series. Um, there's no 
extra games to, to try to, you know, increase more games and stuff. It's just going to be the same thing. They play best of one. They rotate across all three players. So in the end, when they build their decks, they just know they play Trump one time, they play Savis one time, Dog, etc. Yeah, so five wins is going to be that magic number mm -hmm. for the best of nine. So um, we might see something. Teams develop a strategy where they get two wins in each of the first two heats, and then they focus all their attention, three minds on one deck <laughs> to try and get that fifth sure. win. So uh, it should be pretty interesting. I'm um, looking forward to it. I think that the decks stack up uh, pretty nicely. Yeah. And you can tell the players are, are building those out uh, so they have those ready. What's been your favorite moment so far today? We've seen a lot of Hearthstone hyped, but you know we're about to come to the end. And, and when, when we hit the end, it's going to be one big whirlwind of congratulating people. We might not get to say final thoughts, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Heist, what's been your, your highlights so far of the event? 29 for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so fresh and it's so dank. I love it. How about you, TJ? Yeah, that was just uh, an incredible moment, especially since he seems so sure. Yeah, 29 for sure. For sure. Yeah. And it, it was just uh, the perfect moment. And, you know, just uh, getting to hear the player's thoughts, uh, making reads. We see uh, we talk about how um, it, it, there's a flame strike on the board. And then we go to the player's perspective and they're like, hey, we got to play around flame strike. Or, they're like, nah. Yeah, nah. <laughs> they're like, mm, of, flame strike. Yeah, That's just hit phase, you'll just win. Yeah. Ends up being the case. And you know what? They're, they're right. It's just funny in that moment where we're talking about it and we have that information, then you get to yeah. hear directly from their thoughts. A lot of times, one of the things that people wish that they can hear more of is what players are thinking, because a lot of times we as casters are quick to label things as misplays or mistakes. And mm -hmm. Why did he do that? Why didn't he just play perfectly in that scenario? Isn't it very obvious? Uh, when a lot of times they're thinking something else, which is very cool to see that not only happen, but also happen exactly the way that they wanted to. So in, in that specific scenario, they said, he, even if even he has flay strike, you can just go ahead and attack him. You'll just outvalue him, even if you played incorrectly around that. So it's very cool to see. Exactly. I, I'm not a fan of when, of when casters call misplays, but I, for some reason, I love when the opposing team, we switch them, they're like, that was a misplay. And they all agree. <laughs> that happened like at least three times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a few times. One moment was when Amnesiac, uh, the, the give to your minion plus 10, plus 10, that comes from Arch Thief for Thom. For Thom, he said, if they take that, it's a misplay. Well, they took it, and next turn they killed him with it. So, right. Um, That's awesome. Th th things like that. And um, seeing Amnesiac yeah. 2 was a pretty cool thing. This is the first live event that he's been at, and sure. he had a fair amount of trash talk going towards Tempo Storm. And I like losses. it. So uh, yeah. he, ha he has a lot of personality. I'm looking forward to, to seeing more of him in the future, too. It's good. You know, he's young. Uh, he, he's a little bit reckless with some of uh, you know being really aggressive in plays, but I love it. It's so cool and refreshing to see young, fresh blood be able to come into it. Uh, looks like we're getting ready to p play the games. I think the decks are built here. Guys, do we have any predictions for the grand finals? Hyped. Tempo Storm. Okay, Six, good. I, I was three. expecting it. You know, I actually had the contract right under here to rip it up and fire you from the team. But you can stay for another uh, few months or so until your next cast, at least. TJ. Well, with two Tempo Storm boys on the desk, I, I, I think I got to go with Liquid here. Um, they were the highest performing team throughout the, the regular matches uh, throughout the day. Uh, their decks on paper look weak, but we've seen, especially with the Maz's Mage deck earlier, that on paper doesn't really mean much. And they have some cool tools, so uh, I'm going to say Liquid. Okay, well, I'm just going to tilt the, uh, the vote into the favor that you expected. I think Temple Storm's decks are great. I'm not going to comment anything on the plays so far in the tournament by them, but assuming that they can pilot things to an elementary or a rudimentary success level of being able to count lethal, then they will be the victors here, just because I believe their decks are so strong and overall very versatile. Um, I love their lineup diversity as well. One thing to keep in factor, though, that it's not always the best decks. In fact, sometimes the expectation level does not match the results. We've been saying it a lot, and it might happen again. Um, one thing that I also want to point out, too, is that Liquid has been generally very high energy. They've been resting. Temple Storm, this is their third match in a row, I believe. And that's something to also keep in mind. Fatigue might actually play, play a factor here, because sometimes when you think for 30 minutes straight and you're talking all the time and you're very engaged it's, it's pretty pretty exhausting yeah definitely that deck building process as you mentioned is like the most exhausting thing because mm -hmm. you have to think about everything that's right and you're talking so much with people mm -hmm. and, and the more you exert yourself and just the, the long hours it, it's been quite a, a roller coaster ride for some of these guys yeah and you could even tell it just in their team communication uh, when we switched to tempo storm in the last game uh, it was just pretty much just fire bad breathing like that was a lot <laughs> of the communication they were yeah. just so focused they they didn't have the energy to look at their their mm -hmm. um, teammates' uh, decks or, or games and, and help them out until the very end when there was only one game left. So um, we'll have to see how it plays in. Liquid gave themselves a good advantage by going 2-0 in their matches, by not dropping that match. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see if, if that's going to play into it. And 
it, it felt like Temple Storm was feeling pretty confident when we were listening on their draft. Mm, yeah, definitely. Um, and, and they they definitely said it themselves. I think our decks are very, very good. Uh, and then Liquid, of course, was saying like, oh, I'm not sure. They even went back and checked if any cards were kind of uh, misplaced here based off that reload. But it looks like everything got in there okay. So uh, I, I'm, I'm expecting it. Uh, you know, it's really cool to see Team Liquid still do well because I think only one player on that currently gets a lot of respect, and that's Dog. I think Trump is constantly underestimated because of his background in Arena. And then Savitz is in that weird transition state. You know, is he a player? Is he a caster? Is he both? Is he a streamer? Is he... You know, not really focusing on being competitive at all. Uh, you know, for the same criticism as Raynad gets as well. Uh, it, it's very cool to see him be able to play very well and still be a very good deck builder. Hype, you've, you've sort of been, been in that same position before. Is it tough balancing between, like, being a commentator or a streamer and just focusing 100% on being, you know, a full-time professional player? Uh, it can be difficult, but I think... As a caster, people know that I'm not a caster. They, they know I'm a player. So if I just focus mm -hmm. on being a player, then sure. I'll bring the casting analysis that I usually bring. He'll raise our level, TJ. Yeah. He might even help us become legendary. Mm -hmm. He had to do it. He had Tempo to do it. Star. Yeah. <laughs> this is an awesome that song. That was <laughs> that's exactly that was what it was. That was incredible. I'm imagining all the, the, the fail fish cringes that's going on in the chat already. Yeah. We're clearly stalling for time. We're clearly tired, but we're clearly also really excited for the upcoming match. I think we're just kind of finalizing the deck list, triple checking to see if we have every single card uh, in there. Yeah. But let us know, guys. Uh, you know, the, the whole point is that Red Bull, this is their first event, and we've tried really hard to put on a really good show. Uh, one thing that people have been putting under fire is the current formats in Hearthstone, uh, both by what Blizzard has announced as well as what tournaments are putting out. If you constantly do the same constructed or even standard, the whole point of these kinds of card games is the diversity of how you can play them, which makes it really fun. So, you know, we really put something out there, and we've continued to improve, and we hope you guys have enjoyed it. Leave us any feedback. Again, tweet at Red Bull Esports or at Honda and let us know what you guys think. Yeah, it's been super chaotic, but I think it's been super fun. And mm -hmm. the players definitely are the ones I think that have benefited the most. They've, they've, they're having a blast. I mean, we yeah. talked to uh, some of the guys even after they lost from Archon and Cloud9. And even though they were eliminated, they said that they had this is one of the most fun tournaments, if not the most fun tournament uh, that they've played. So, yeah. And I know Hyped, I was talking to him earlier, you said you were disappointed that you didn't get to play a little bit because of the format. Oh, yeah, but I, I love listening to the players talk through the games. That's like my favorite part of this tournament. Yeah. And the, the deck building and what, when they all focus on one deck at the end when two decks have already won and they're all like collaborating on the last deck sure that's uh, the most when fun. it culminates yeah i think that's probably the most fun all right guys uh, so we just got word that we're just going to take a couple minutes break and get ready for the grand finals don't go anywhere when we return team liquid takes on tempo storm for the team brawl championships